Hi, welcome back. In this lesson five, we will learn about what is a session and how Google Analytics calculates a session. Remember guys, if you put the tracking code on your website and whenever a visitor visits a site, the tracking code will send a hit to Google Analytics server. And whenever a hit is received by Google Analytics server, Google Analytics starts something called as a session. Now, I will explain about session in the practical demonstration, but think of session as something like this. If a hit is received, what Google Analytics has to do is it has to capture the data and it cannot simply throw away the data for me to look at however I want, right? That will not work. Google Analytics has to capture the data and it has to process the data and it has to report in a way which is very acceptable to me. That means Google Analytics has to capture the data and has to segment the data and that will happen when Google understands who a user is and how many sessions they've been initiated. Now remember, one user can initiate multiple sessions. Now what is a session? Session is a group of hits recorded in a certain period of time. This is the definition. The definition of session is the group of hits recorded in a certain period of time. Now what is a hit? Anytime a request is sent from my website to analytics server, analytics record it as a hit. And a group of hits together is grouped and Google puts them under a session. Now, a lot of people are confused. There's a lot of misconception where people say session is for 30 minutes. No, session is not for 30 minutes. Google says something like this. Half an hour of inactivity will terminate a session, but it nowhere says the session is going to be for 30 minutes. Now, session can go beyond 30 minutes, but the session cannot go beyond four hours. That means if the hits are received by server continuously and there is a break of 30 minutes, then session will get terminated. Now, if there is no break of 30 minutes, Google will keep continuing the session. That means as long as there is no break of 30 minutes between one hit and the other hit, Google Analytics will still continue the session. But how long Google will continue this session? The maximum is four hours. Now, if the hits are received by server continuously without a gap of half an hour and it goes beyond four hours, then after four hours, Google Analytics will terminate the session and Google Analytics will begin a new session. Now, one user, does not mean he initiates only one session. One user can initiate multiple sessions. So we will learn about these sessions and, and the components and what goes into sessions and how Google interrupts a session or terminates a session and, and how Google Analytics identifies a new user or a returning user and put them all under different, different sessions. We will learn about them in the practical demonstration. Continue to watch my screen where I will take you through all these things in the Google Analytics account. Let's learn how Google Analytics calculates a session. Now, session is incremented on the first hit, right? It doesn't really matter if the hit is a page view hit or an event hit. Anytime a user visits the site, analytics have to start a new session or they have to tie all the interaction that a user does to the same existing session. But before we learn about what sessions are, there's a lot of misconception in the market. You talk to a lot of digital marketing experts. They say, you ask them, what is a session? They say, session is for half an hour. No, they got it wrong. That is not what the actual definition of Google reads. This, the definition of Google reads like this. Half an hour of inactivity will terminate a session, but it nowhere says the session is going to be for half an hour. Now, the session can go beyond half an hour as well, but the maximum time limit that Google has for a session is four hours. That means if a user comes to my site and the hits are sent from my website to server, analytics begins something called as a session. And whatever interactions that, go, that the user does on the site, without giving a break of half an hour, they're all tied to the same session, right? Now, these videos, I am not trying to teach. I am hoping that we will do some extensive study. So let's get to our study. Let's go to the help center and see what Google has to say about session, right? The concept of session is very, very important because you know all the you know, other reports and features in analytics highly depend on this. And that's exactly what Google says in the first definition. The concept of a session in analytics is important to understand because many features, reports, and metrics depend on how analytics calculate session, right? So now, now I, I, you, you can go search on the internet, you find a lot of you know, blocks, but I would say this is the best that you can get when it comes to session. Now, a session is nothing but a group of interactions or group of user interactions in a given time frame now session is not for half an hour get it straight session is not for half an hour session gets terminated after half an hour of inactivity right now for example a session can contain multiple page views yes that's true right if a person comes to my uh, page session begins and that person happens to go to five pages that means session is one but the user have been to five pages the so session 
is having five pages now if you're tracking the other events as well if you want to if you if you're tracking scroll depth events and if you're tracking the other events those all events will also be captured in the same session right so it says for example a single session can contain multiple page views events social interactions and e-commerce transactions right now you can think of session as a container for the action that user takes on a site here see session began user came to first page second page then a first event then a second event then a social interaction and the transaction now all these interaction that user did on my site is tied into one session right a single user opens yes the single user again leaves my site after half an hour he comes back to the site then what analytics does is it creates a new session why there is a break of half an hour and whenever there is an inactivity of half an hour analytics will terminate the existing session and creates a new session now here the user is the same user but analytics still began a new session because there was a break of half an hour right those sessions can occur on the same day now if you if imagine i came to my site just go you know, you came to my side so now now the time is 11 7 so from this time to 11 37 whatever I do on the side will be tied to the same session now if I if I it is 11 7 right so maybe imagine after three minutes I go to uh, uh, apply, apply now page page right so 11 7 I am on this page 11 10 I go to apply now page now what happens is from 11 10 until 11 40 that means half an hour if I don't set another hit then analytics will terminate this session and create a new session that means there has to be a break of 30 minutes for a session to be terminated and google analytics will create a new session for those corresponding hits that a user sends to analytics server right now and, and those those next sessions maybe they can happen today they may happen in the evening time or may, may happen across several days or months so as soon as the session ends there's an opportunity to start a new session right now we see time based expiration that means 30 minutes of inactivity will terminate a session now you might say prashant uh, tonight 11 45 i came to the site now you say prashant half an hour of inactivity will terminate session right so that means if a person comes in the night 11 45 until 12 15 if it doesn't set another hit because 11 45 not add another half an hour that will go down to 12 15 in the next morning right right so that it no if a hit is not received until 12 15 from 11.45 to 12.15, session gets terminated. That, that's the rule, right? No. But Google has a condition here. At midnight, which is 12 o'clock, all session gets terminated. That means if you come at 11.45 and, and you send a hit at 11.50, send another hit at 11.55, generally the session has to be terminated at 11, 12, 12 12.25 because half an hour of inactivity will lead to 12.25. No, but that does not happen. At 12 o'clock, session will be terminated and Google starts a new session for the same user because the sessions have to be have to be terminated at that day because the day changes and again there are a lot of confusion when you talk about when you generate reports that spans multiple days we will talk about all these things advanced things in our future videos but now remember sessions get terminated even though there is not a break of 30 minutes but at 12 o'clock in the night session gets terminated now right we will even talk about campaign change campaign change is nothing but for example see now whenever user comes to my site analytics does not just create a session it also has to track the source now if a user is visiting my site from google.com now see if a user came to my site this is my landing page imagine the session began here right and the user who ca came to the landing page which is the home page they happen to came uh, come from google organic so the campaign source is organic right now so half an hour of inactivity will terminate a session so if there is no half an hour break it can go for a maximum of four hours and if it is going beyond four hours then google will automatically turn in the session and whatever interactions happen after four hours they will be put into a new session right so the maximum duration that google can take into a session that means it is for it is for four hours now so now i was talking about this point when a user comes to my website from organic and he does certain things it's it's not even half an hour right and at maybe after 15 minutes he leaves my site he leaves my site now he navigates to facebook and from facebook again he comes to my site the same page home page first he came to my home page from google organic maybe after 15 minutes he went back and within five minutes only it is not even half an hour of inactivity within five minutes only he comes to my site again from facebook.com now analytics will create a new session because the source changed right now you see here right 
right now this is a study right we're not just doing learning we're doing study by default a session lasts until there is 30 minutes of inactivity but you can adjust this yes in analytics there is a feature in view settings you can just go and you can increase the session duration as well right if you want the session to get terminated after one hour of inactivity you can still do that but generally it is not recommended but if you are into a particular line of business and you are an app you're a, you're a game and people pay a particular game for more than 45 minutes maybe in that case you can increase or decrease your session right for bank websites they generally have a session of one minute because they don't want session to carry beyond one minute so automatically they get terminated so you know these people follow those approach right you can you, you can you can even you know change the limits of a session now here Google gives a nice example a user called Bob comes to my website at 121 first page view 122 he goes to another page view from 122 123 he sends a first hit called you know any any hit we call it a scroll depth hit and 24 he sends another hit called you know another scroll depth hit now he came at 21 when he came at 21 until 231 if he doesn't send another hit it terminates a session right but but he sent consistent hits from 21 22 he sent another hit 23 there was another hit 24 there was another hit right now whenever a hit is sent to server the server extends the session duration for another 30 minutes that means when a bob when the bob came to the site at 21 session had to expire at 231 but he was still sending hits now at 24 the session will not terminate at 21 the session will rather terminate at 234 why 30 minutes of inactivity will terminate a session it's just not 30 minutes right so if you if you come to my site at 1210 and 12.20 you send another hit, the session will get terminated at 12.40 or 12.50, half an hour, if there is no subsequent hit in the last 30 minutes, right? Now, in the event 2, you see, 2.34, it says, yes, the session had to expire at 2.31 when he arrived at 2.1, but here the session will not get terminated at 31 because 2.4 there was another hit. So, from 2.4 to 2.34, if there is no another hit, then session gets terminated. Bob arrives on your site, the session is set to expire at 2.31. As Bob continues through your site, viewing pages and triggering events, each of those additional requests move the expiry ahead another 30 minutes, right? Now, here Google gave another example. Now, if Bob enters the site, right, on page 1 at 2.1 and another, he navigates to another page at 2.2, they're all part of the same session. Now, at 2.2, there was a second hit. If until 2.32, if Bob does not send another hit, session gets terminated now google says hey session had to expire at 232 now here you see 31 minutes late that means there was a break of 31 minutes that means 31 minutes of inactivity that means session has to expire and the next hit came at 233 and what google have done is for the same user he did not tie these two actions into same session he tied the other two actions that 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 came after 30 minutes of inactivity into a new session right the same user these two interactions were tied to one session and the third and fourth interactions were tied to the second session because there was a gap of 30 minutes right the same thing here all these actions were within 30 minutes now here it was 31 minutes so as per rule condition 30 minutes of inactivity will terminate a session but here he says the bob when he left my site again he returned to my site within 29 minutes that, that means there was no gap of 20 30 minutes so Google did not initiate a new session, but Google rather tied all those interactions into the same session, right? Now, end of the day, 11.50 also you come. Generally, session had to expire at 12.20, but that does not happen because day changes. Google terminates the session and the next day interactions are tied to the new session, right? Campaign. Now, here it says Google came to the website from organic keywords, red keywords. Now, again, he leaves my site, again, returns to my site, this time through a paid keyword. Now, because the source changed, Google creates a new session. Now, so you remember, whenever the campaign source changes, even though there's not a gap of 30 minutes, Google will terminate the session and create a new session. So remember, if there is a change in the source, if there is a change in the medium, Google will terminate the session and create a new session. Now, Prashant, if a person comes to my site from Google Organic, and after 10 minutes, he leaves my site, he goes outside, again, he comes to my site directly within 30 minutes. Within 30 minutes, there was no gap of 30 minutes. Now, new session is not initiated because the second source was direct, but direct will not replace the existing campaign source. But if the person who left my site comes through Facebook, 
Google will terminate the first session and create a new session. Remember, whenever the campaign source is changed or medium is changed, Google will terminate the session and create a new session. But if a person came through one source called organic, leaves my site within 10 minutes and within 15 minutes again he comes back directly, Google will not terminate the session because direct will, will never override the existing campaign source. Right now, here also very very important for people who extensively work on Google Ads. Remember, there's something called auto tagging. Auto tagging when you enable, if a person clicks on your ad, Google will append a GCL ID. Now, if the same user clicks on the ad multiple times, there are multiple GCL IDs. You don't have the same GCL ID, right? So, whenever Google finds a new GCL ID, Google will create a new session. That means the user is same, but Google creates a new session. Now, it does not happen when you're using manual tagging. That's exactly why manual tagging is not recommended in Google Ads. But you still want to use manual tagging rather than using auto tagging in Google Analytics. If the user clicks on your ad multiple times, they will still be part of the same session because the source and the medium will remain same. Unlike auto tagging, the GCL ID parameter will change, so that will trigger another session. But in case of auto ta manual tagging, that will not happen. Now, yeah, th th that's exactly what I was talking about, right? Direct traffic. Direct traffic never overrides an existing campaign source. Now, we will talk about sessions and new users in the next class. But remember, there's also a lot of difference between sessions and entrances. Sessions gets incremented on the first hit. It doesn't really matter what hit. It can be an event hit. It can be a page view hit. But when you talk about entrances, entrances is always incremented in Google Analytics on the first page view hit. Remember, we will talk about all these things in future because they are basics and you cannot really build your analytics tower unless you get to these basics. So I'm not taking you into the very advanced topics right away. So I'm, I'm still trying to focus myself, get back to basics and try and build a foundation that you can not lose. Thank you so much. Continue to watch the other videos in my channel. And uh, yeah, thank you.